Xavier and I are so excited to get ourselves a new car, but let me tell you real quick how we got ourselves here. So, last year, just before I turned 40, I figured it would be best for me to get myself a tangible birthday present. Something, you know, that appreciates me for all the efforts that I've been putting in. So I called somebody that I knew through a friend, somebody that I knew who sells cars. So I asked him for his expertise and his advice based on my budget, the kind of car I wanted and the time frame I wanted the car to be here. Remember, my birthday was in August and this conversation was happening in February. So he said, oh, if you pay now, you can get your car in June. So 1st of March, I made my first deposit because I wanted the car to come as early as possible so that, you know, I can get it out of the way and just focus on my party and, you know, and the groove and all of that. So mid-June, when the car was supposed to arrive, it didn't arrive, I, I just kind of felt funny. And I just, you know, started making inquiries, asking questions. Long story short, he promised he was going to come on or before my birthday, which my birthday passed again, and I didn't still see the car. So by the time we had gotten to September... My close friends have started encouraging me to go to the police and take the case up. But I figured, mm, this is somebody that I knew through a friend, you know, that I also see as a friend. It would be somehow for me to take my friend to the police. So by October, I got really infuriated and I couldn't hold it anymore. And I started verbally, you know, getting aggressive, asking for my car, asking for updates. So where is the car at this moment? When am I going to get it? And all the answers I kept getting from him is, I beg one sit down. I beg I'm busy. I'm stressed. I've spent so much money. Bro, the car is not free. Don't tell me you spent money. I gave you the money to spend on the car. But anyway, long story short, by the time I got really tired and fed up of him talking bullshit to me, I attacked him and I called him a thief. Well, that's what my guts told me he was at the time. He got mad, said, oh, why would I call him a thief? And he, this guy got me arrested by the police. Not arrested per se, but he had the police call on me and ask me to come for interrogation all the way in Abuja, which I went three times and this brother man did not show up. When I realized that he was just making a fool of me and the entire police force, I got really angry and I decided to take it up on myself. And now I know that this is war. So I went to the police. Thank goodness the police helped me get my money back. And I just said to myself, you know what? They sell cars in Nigeria now. They make brand new cars in Nigeria. Why am I trusting somebody with my hard end money? Hard end money. In fact, 17 point something million was what I gave to him to balance him 5.2. I give you that kind of money. You are still telling me I'm going to regret my life. So I said, okay, you know what? Let me go to a store where I know I can see what I'm buying, pick it up and go home and avoid drama. So that was how Xavier and I ended up here in Mikano. And to be honest, I don't remember. A big congratulations to Yvonne Jigede as she just gives herself car worth of millions, guys. You guys know that she turned 40. I remember I remembered posting that video where she said, Thank God I turned 40 today. It's not that more I am more better than those people that buy. It's just that God kept me going and I'm so happy for it. She said a lot. And she, now Okay, guys, before the birthday, she decided of gifting herself. She decided on what to gift herself that because she wants it. So she decided to gift herself car and she decided to do it through a friend. You guys heard what she said. She contacted a friend, gave him 17 point something million. But this person couldn't deliver. I don't know why some people are like this. I don't know why some people are behaving like this. Not everybody, because I'm not going to say I don't know why Nigerians. No, it's not everybody. And the funny part of it is that those people are that doing that way. They keep spoiling things for the good ones because there are still good ones out there who has the heart, who has the good and the pure heart to deliver. But because of these ones that always, uh, always collect money and eat it and even block you from calling them, they keep spoiling things for the good ones, guys. You guys heard what she said, but thank God that at last she was able to recover her money and even still went ahead to gift herself. Notwithstanding that her birthday have passed, she said, no, I've said it and I've made it a... Uh I've said it that I'm going to gift myself, so I'm going to keep that promise. She still went ahead to bought herself a car. What of how many millions? 